you know, political processes in our country are made more tedious by unresolved negative emotions like denials, untrue claims, and false alarms. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, has flatly denied offering 40 billion naira to the standard bearer of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Alaji Rabiu Kwankwaso, to step down for him. Let me quote uh, Peter Obi. Nobody as of today will say he's funding Peter Obi. I'm funding myself, end quote. Now, elsewhere, Mr. Obi has said that for him and his running mate, Dr. Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed, uh, you know, fixing the economy will be top priority. Again, reducing poverty for Nigerians uh, would revolve around the country, uh, will resolve the country's in insecurity challenge. Uh, that's the story. Yeah, um, I was there yesterday uh, when Obi came to meet with uh, the Guild of Editors. Mm. In the last one week, the Guild of Editors uh, have paid the uh, host to three of the uh, front runners in the presidential race. That's uh, Atiku Abubakar, um, Kwa Kwanso, and um, Peter Obi. Two weeks ago, uh, the candidate of the APC, Ashua Jubola Metino, who blazed the trail, uh, I met with the uh, Gidot editors. And four of them, I mean, spoke very well. And you think uh, the, the, the battle should be, of course, we have 18 candidates. But for Obi yesterday, of course, he said it clearly that um, it's not being funded by anybody. Uh, like the mantra of the party said, we don't give chichi. Uh, that's, their, <laughs> <laughs> that's their mantra. I said it's not, of course, he also, of course, he, uh, he said something that, well, of course, you will need to buy fuel and they also rent space. He even joked about it that, like, as you guys are here, I can buy you lunch while expecting that uh, you will uh, uh, do something for me in return. So he just joked about that. But I don't see uh, Obi as somebody who will give anybody 40 billion. And I, I don't think, uh, you see, people insinuate a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah but so, the so, so where, where did, do you think this story started? Where the question from? came from? Yeah, see, I was trying to, I, I checked, I think. Where yeah, did, yeah see, yeah, the, the thing question? is, a lot of things do fly at times like this. And you be, see. Be, because we are a country of, of conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. Honestly. And you will see some deniers that will baffle you, mm. too. And like um, 40 billion is uh, is no mongos no, no, uh, no, even even at uh, almost for, 800 for a, for a candidate dollar. to step down yeah mm -hmm. and you're not sure, sure. the 40 billion <laughs> then i'm not contesting again <laughs> you, see, you see oh come on people do <laughs> a, a lot of things for several so, reasons so, sometimes you think you are in the wrong profession. Look at the way people are called, uh, paying 100 million yeah. for the ticket of the APC. Mm -hmm. On the last count, I think about uh, 36 of them paid 100 million each. Not refundable. Yes. Not refundable. And so we're actually yes. trying to get it back though. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> politicians, I mean, oh, uh, like I said, mm -hmm. you can't put anything beyond them, but mm -hmm. 40 billion it's huge. For just to step down. For, yeah. When you're not sure, a, we will win. A billion is a million in a thousand places. Yeah. So times 40. Okay. When you're not even certain of winning, you don't get, assuming it's true. I mean, when you're not sure, what, what how can for, you, yeah. how what, can you what drop for? 40 billion to step down and like that? I think another I, I'm question. Sure, I'm happy it is, one it, it one is, other it, question it, we asked Obi uh, yesterday was that when and how did they talk between the Labour Party and NNPP? collapsed. And they said, well, I think uh, some of these things were time-bound. They needed to submit names to any kind of stuff like that. So that's the way he explained it. And the same thing Kwa Kwansu said. So, um, but 40 billion. Of course, he spoke about some other things at the yeah. party. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tony, um, uh, Obi said for him and his running mate, Dr. Dati Ahmed, fixing the economy would be top priority. 
It should be a top that, priority. That, I think, is mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. main yeah, thing. It should be, it should be, in fact, it should be top priority to anybody who wants to assume and uh, succeed um, um, President Muhammad Buhari. Yeah. Yeah, because the economy is not, uh, we, are not we are not seeing it mm. performing excellently. So that should be number one priority of any of them. Yeah, any especially of them. It, it coming in the wake of uh, the report by the NBS, Nash National mm -hmm. Bureau of Statistics. Statistics. 133 million Nigerians are uh, experiencing it's a, it's a, it's a, it's multilateral. It's a, it's a, it's a, it tells yeah. you that we really need to reject this country. People are not happy. Mm. People are not happy. You know, the few money, the few cash you have in your hand, hand cannot buy you anything. Mm. It can't buy you anything. You go to the market, just sample opinion, sample their views, that they walk the street every day doesn't mean they are living good. Nigerians are not happy with the present state of things. Yeah. And so whoever is going to, of course, that's the first thing you have to kickstart. How to re bring the economy back to life. Because when, when I think people, they, 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 he talked happening. about uh, us returning to being a producing, a produ country. A producing country. Yeah, of yeah. course. We cannot be important. I mean, we can produce what we eat here. Yeah. We can, if we have the will to do so. If we are disciplined enough to do so. We do, not, we do not depend on what we import. But Nigeria is so blessed that we can do a lot. If we have the right Ma president, Ma a lot Ma of things need to be if done. If you travel around the country, especially the Middle Belt, you see all sorts of fruits and say, yes, truly, Wasting away. this country is blessed. But we, waste, we have this panache for wasting things. Yeah, because um, we lack that added value, mm. advantage. That's why. Um, all year round in Europe and other parts of the world, you eat, most of the things you eat are fresh because they have storage facilities. Yeah. But before you can talk of storage facilities, you must look at your power supply situation. Yeah. Before you can have tomatoes that you can refrigerate for the next one year. You must have constant electricity supply for your refrigerator. And the ones you cannot consume fresh, you take them to the processing uh, uh, mills. Uh, so, 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 you, so, so you wonder what a country like Nigeria could do if we were like Kenya. Yes. Kenya makes much of its money, uh, money from selling flowers and, uh, yes. and producing tea. Tea, yeah in addition to is uh, tourism. So, yes. uh, but you can't, how do you store your flowers? I mean, there are, there are certain temperatures mm. that these flowers must be stored, uh, these fresh fruits. <laughs> there are, but, are, you, are, you, are, we, are you visualizing the temperate region, you know, no, no, uh, Taraba, that stretch? Or even, or even, or even Plato. But, uh, but then, Plato, Benue, to Taraba. But even at that, you still need in, that, in, in Kenya, they commercialize agriculture. How many people can afford commercialized farming in, mm. uh, uh, in Nigeria? The state of Nevada in the U.S. alone has about 10 farmers that feeds the whole of America. 10, ten of them? Just 10. And that feeds the whole of America. The, the, 